Hello guys, and today we'll be doing our documentary about cheating. Cheating on any homework or work that anyone has done in the past. So we'll be asking two to three teachers and see what they have to say. And we'll ask different questions about cheating to all those teachers. Okay, let's go. So Ms. Fonte, we, we wanted to come here to ask about cheating. Okay. So one question would be, have you ever noticed in the past? Yes, I unfortunately have had some students choose to cheat. In what ways? Um, a lot of times it's homework. It's very easy to have someone finish the homework. Oh my gosh, I didn't finish it. It's due next period. And then they copy the answers. And it's also happened on tests. Okay, well that was going to be the next question. Have you ever noticed, uh, what ways have you noticed it on tests? Um, sometimes I actually see the eyes wandering. Um, but a lot of the times it would be checking answers. I have different forms of the test, and if one answer doesn't match the problem, but it matches the answer to the other version, then I know. What are some ways that you uh, come to solve these problems? Um, sometimes you get a zero. If it's a homework assignment, definitely get a zero. Can't redo it. Tests, I go back and forth. I've had it in the past where you get a zero. That really hurts their overall achievement grade. So detentions, and then they have an opportunity to retake the test. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Thanks for. Have you seen it anywhere else? Uh, in regards to cheating, um, I don't think so. Uh, so it was that homeroom. Um, in other classes, no. Um, I know. Probably the one time that there is cheating would be quizzes or tests. So that's why when teachers can, they can separate students, um, you know, or give them those folders or have other students put folders and separate. So there's no wandering eyes because, you know, we want to know what you know, not how you can cheat. You know, we don't want that. In other ways, other than you explained, how do you handle it in other ways other than detention, like you said? Well, usually talk to them. Uh, most likely give them uh, a zero or an F or whatever the, or incomplete. And then usually sit down, probably even talk to the parents about mm -hmm. that. And if it continues to be repeated, then we need to bring parents in. So it all depends on the situation. Okay, thank you for chatting with us. You're welcome. We wanted to ask you some questions about cheating, is that okay? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, um, where have, in the school classes have you seen cheating? I've seen cheating a few times in this school. I can't tell you specifically names or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, I know. But I have seen people attempt to cheat on tests, um, like looking over someone's shoulder, or um, I've seen people like copy other people's homework before. Um, what are your ways to stop it? Well, I think it's important for kids to understand that, like, if they're cheating, it might, like, help them in the moment, right? Because they're, they're getting the answers, but in the long run, it doesn't help because then they don't understand the, the material, right? And they need that knowledge going forward. So I think it's good for kids to know that. Like, teachers can talk to them about that. I also think that kids, you know, when kids get consequences for cheating, like, sometimes they'll get a detention or they'll get a zero on the assignment, then that they learn that it's not worth it because you can have consequences for it. Okay. Um, in what classes have you seen it in? Like what, in what types of ways in classes have you seen it in? I've seen it in all different kinds of classes. A lot of times I'll see kids like copying off of other kids' papers um, because they like forgot to do their work um, in any class. And specifically in math, I've seen kids try to copy off of other kids' tests. Okay, thank you for talking with us. Thank you. Here was our documentary about cheating. We asked different questions like how people cheated, where people cheated, and what are the consequences. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.